in this particular session we will continue with our next scenario from the diva beta application so let's get started so inside the application let's go with the hard coding issue part 2 and let's start this one here we have the objective as find out what is hard coded and where it is hard coded so here we wrote a simple input field entered the vendor key here so we just have to enter the vendor key which we don't know and after entering the vendor key we have to click on this access right if the vendor key was correct we will simply maybe grant it otherwise we will simply get access denied so to find out the vendor key just go with your source code and inside the source code we don't know what was the name for this activity so i'll go with the manifest file and i'll try to figure out the activity name here so the activity name here is hard coding to activity here and the main source code for this activity was located inside this folder jacker.asim.diva and your hard code to activity so let's go with the source code hard code to, to activity and inside the hard code to activity here you can see we define an object for the diva jni class here and after that part we got the on create method inside the on create method we simply complete the declaration for all the components here including your djni that we just declare here simply initialize it here and after that part after this on create method we got our access method under the access method part we got our if else condition and inside this if condition we got simple we are simply calling this djni object here and we are simply calling the access method which was defined inside the class we simply call the access method with the djni object here and we simply pass some input here as well as the attribute and the vendor key that we will enter here on the application will be sent to this access method here so if i go with this djni if i simply go with this access method just go with the right click to and go with the declaration here and inside declaration you can see we call this access method or if you simply go here above this line you can see we define another variable with the name s o name and the name was diva jni and we simply call this access method which will simply accept the string attributes and the access method will be called for this diva jni library here which you can see here we simply call the static part as system dot load library and the s o name s o name is the variable that we have defined here it means we simply pass our input to the library the point here is if you simply pass an input or if you simply want to process some data inside the libraries you can process the part but you cannot directly extract the source code of the library unless you have the main part you cannot directly decompile the library source code like your java here your jdx will not do that part for you but again for this diva beta application we have the source code so for the source code part just go with this github.com slash payar2 slash diva hyphen android and inside this repository just go with this app folder and inside the app folder go with the src for the source go with your main folder go with your jni as your java native interface we call them go with the jni and here you can see we got the diva jni dot c library here if you simply open this library and scroll down you can see we got a basic variable declaration here as vendor key this was the basic hard coded issue that was available in your libraries not inside your uh, java source code not inside your strings.xml file not inside your manifest file not somewhere else this vendor secret key was hidden or stored inside your libraries so if you simply copy this vendor key here and input it here you may get access to the restricted resources if i simply enter it here as o l s d f g a d colon l and h and click on access part we got the access granted this was your hard coding issue part 2 where your variables where your sensitive data was hard coded inside the library have a good day and stay connected